Hello my beautiful Libras, how are you today? Welcome to my channel, my name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are getting ready to do your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, it's a general reading, please take what's yours and leave the rest just like a buffet table. So let's get started. We're going to do a 10 card Celtic cross spread for you. And if you do enjoy the content, please like, subscribe and share. We have the devil card out. So right away we have an issue in which two people are having trouble with control issues. Crossed by the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion. You're really feeling pretty uncomfortable in this situation, Libra. It's almost like you don't know what to do. You feel as though somebody's being manipulative behind the scenes. And as you look at this Devil card, that's exactly what's happening. You know, like, ah ha ha, nothing to see here. I'm not trying to manipulate. And then the Seven of Cups is it says that, you know, you know something's wrong, but you don't know quite what's wrong. We see the beautiful energy of the hanged man. You are not taking any action at this time. You're just trying to figure out what's going on before you say or do anything. Let's see what we have for the recent past and this connection. Ace of Cups, love. Okay, so you really feel as though you want this person. You're very attracted to them, but you do not know the lay of the land or what is happening. Seven of Swords, you're going to be very strategic, very savvy. This person, I feel as though they, you feel as though they've told you some lies. You're pretty sure they have. You want a new beginning. You want to be able to throw caution to the winds and go on the adventure. The Nine of Wands, though, tells you that you're very reluctant to do so. You feel as though you've been through the mill with this person. You feel as though they've been manipulative, dishonest that they promised love at some time in the past and they haven't delivered on it. There's this sort of attitude that you feel as though they've sort of left, left the relationship and yet they appear to be pretending that it's going on. So this is quite an illusion is what you're trying to deal with and you're trying to sort things through to see what's happening here. The Nine of Wands energy says that you're willing to do the work, but you don't know if this person is really invested. When we get the Three of Pentacles, they say they're invested, but look at the Three of Pentacles is typically a very good card. It's a card of collaboration and one in which a relationship needs work on both parties to create the third coin, which is the relationship. And you just feel as though they're squandering your time. They're wasting your time. Okay, and what else do we have? What is your darkest wish or your highest hope for the situation, Libra? What is going on for Libra? What is hidden here that we need to see? You want someone who is going to invest in you. You want somebody to come to the table with kingly energy, meaning that they're, they're able to take a leadership in an equal role and invest equally. You're hoping that there is some sort of coming together in the relationship. And the outcome card says that you are going to hold your cards. You're just not going to talk to this person. You're going to sit back and watch what they do. Right now, you have checked out. You are not making any decision. You're not going to do anything. Your feeling is, is that you're going to wait and see what this person does. Okay, Libra. So we're going to clarify these cards and see what is happening here for you. Why is the Devil card here in this relationship reading for Libra? Why is Libra having this feeling of just not really quite understanding what's going on with this? The Ten of Swords. You're trying to figure out whether you were stabbed in the back. And according to this, you have taken a hit that you don't feel you can come back from. Okay, what else is this Devil card about? The Ten of Swords is the worst is over, so that's the good news, a Hermit card. You feel as though this person just ghosted you, and yet they're talking to you. They're talking to you, and you feel as though they're giving you a lot of excuses that are not valid to keep you hanging in there. The Temperance card is a great card because it's a great equalizer. It's Sagittarius energy of goodwill, honesty. So you just can't figure out whether this person is manipulative or controlling or lying to you. But the Seven of Cups, what's all the confusion about? You don't know if the relationship's over and they have failed to tell you. 
The five of coins is clarifying the hanged, hanged man. You feel very left in the cold. Ouch, Libra. Why is the Ace of Cups here in the past? Why is the Ace of Cups here in the past? The Knight of Wands, okay. So you feel as though this person has been in and out. It appears that they actually have been. This is Sagittarius energy. This person is going to come back. When I get the Temperance card, this person's going to come back, but I don't like the fact that they're, you just feel like you lost a battle of some sort and you didn't know there was a battle to fight. King of Wands energy, beautiful, okay. I'm happy to see King of Wands after Knight of Wands. That means ascending to be more responsible in the relationship. Why is this Knight of Wands showing up after this person was very sort of deceitful or at least they were not clear with you? This person was not clear with you. Seven of Coins, your person is returning with a desire, the seven of coins and the seven of coins is they want to invest in you in the same way you've invested in them. We have the king of wands here. We have the king of wands here. So your wish, oh my God, that's so crazy. I just saw this. Look at temperance, temperance. So what you wish is reconciliation. What's going to happen is reconciliation. You want the King of Wands to invest in you. Here's the King of Wands investing in you. We're going to have to dig into this. This is a bit of a complicated reading, but it does. This is the best that can happen. This is an outcome. The best possible outcome is that this person will. They're hiding the fact. What I'm really getting here is this person is hiding the fact that they're just not giving you any promises. It looks as though they are investing in you, but they are just not telling you anything. They're not giving you anything to hold on to. They're really, this is sort of, manip this is manipulative energy. The Six of Swords, they want to make things better, okay. So there is a new beginning. This person does come back, or they, they make it clear that they actually want a beginning with you. They want to make things better. What is prompting this, though? What is prompting this change? The Four of Pentacles. Oh, they're jealous. Oh, there's your toxic energy. This person feels that they need to be in control because otherwise they will get hurt. They've been hurt in the past. This person, though, is the King of Wands. That is Leo energy. So there's a certain amount of cockiness. They're so afraid that their pride's going to be hurt, that they're going to be rejected, that it's like they're not really making you feel good in the relationship. The Ace of Wands is clarifying the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this is really good. This energy is beautiful because this person, this person wants another chance with you. They are moving the relationship forward. This is your, the Six of Swords is a, kind of an adventure. When they come back, it looks as though they come back in a very clever way. I don't really want to say that they left the relationship because they didn't. They just left you feeling as though you had no clue what was going on. Not cool. I don't like that. Okay, so now we see this person returning, the Six of Swords, fixing things, investing, coming back in a very, uh, very straightforward, sexy kind of a way, in a mature kind of a way. Kings are there to stay. Kings, the king energy, is the person whose energy has to show up for commitment. So the Four of Pentacles, this person has issues with jealousy and insecurity and needing to be in control a little bit dubious in the way they handle things, but the beautiful news is, is that they do want a new beginning with you. So the new beginning is clarifying the Ace of Wands with the Nine of Wands equals the Ten of Wands. That Ten of Wands is releasing old burdens. So this is very, very good. Your burden is soon to be released. Okay. So the Three of Pentacles, this is sort of like, are we going to paint the living room? Let's plan the new addition. Where are we going to get married? Where will we go on our honeymoon? And this person is flaking this away, this opportunity. So where they, they want to do it with you, but they're pretending not to care. The Moon card. 
they don't know yet what level they want in terms of commitment. I would say for most of you, this is probably a relationship that's gone on for at least six or seven months. The Knight of Cups, they're trying to just, wow, Ten of Wands, okay. So they're, they understand that they've created a burden in the relationship. They're trying to come in and be very romantic. That is Pisces energy with the moon that's Pisces energy. We're going to clarify these also with additional oracle cards. Okay. So is the seven of coins here. What does it mean for you? Good, the Hierophant. So you want someone who's going to make a commitment to you. And that per your person looks as though they're capable of doing that. But they're being very, they're being very cagey. You want them to tell you that they love you. You definitely want that. You want them to confess their love for you the same way they told you early on that they loved you. But you feel a little bit that they were being a little bit of a player when you, they told you that. You feel as though it was definitely manipulative energy. The Seven of Swords again. So you just, you have a real trust issues with this person. The Seven of Swords says that even though they come back, uh, they speak what seems like the truth, but you're very nervous about this. The Three of Cups makes you feel as though you're fr it's a friend you can't trust. Okay, so what is it about the Three of Cups? It seems awkward. Six of Pentacles. This person seems to have too many friends around them. What I'm getting here is that they have female friends and you feel as though they're chatting with other women. I don't feel as though they are. I don't think, th I think this is manipulative energy to always put themselves in a position of power in the relationship. So it always seems as though you need them more than they need you. I don't feel as though they're actually, I'm not getting third party situation. I'm not getting you being juggled. I get that you fear being juggled, and I get that you fear that this person is really immature, but those are your fears. That's not the reality. So the Two of Swords says that you're going to hold off on making a final judgment call. You're just, you're going to wait for this person to reveal themselves. Three of Pentacles. Okay, now we get a Three of Pentacles. Instead of looking like this, Instead of looking all flaky, like, well, I don't know, are we doing it? I don't know, I don't know. Look at the difference in this Three of Pentacles energy. This is your outcome energy. This person is coming back to actually make plans with you, to solidify the relationship. The Three of Coins is a very important card in that they are investing in you in a way that they haven't in the past. Now, they, this person really seems to have a public persona. They're very oriented to what other people think. Their pride, their family, their friends. What else do we get for an outcome card for beautiful Libra friends? Okay, here you go. There you go. I like it. You are taking the stance that you will cut this person out of your life. If And that's you, Libra. Here you are in your reading. That is you. And you know, you can see what's going on. You have great clarity about what's going on. And you will cut them out. If they are not in it to win it, if they're not there to work, if they're not there to get to know you better, you will end the relationship. Let's see what the wisdom of the Oracle has to say as an overall advice for the reading. And I'm also going to get clarifiers with the beautiful Traveler's Oracle too. So let's see what we have here. What else do we have? So the advice is you're already doing this, Libra. Stay peaceful. Stay peaceful. Keep your own counsel. Don't discuss this with other people. You have all the tools you need to know, or you have everything you need to know and to do the right thing for yourself. Um, keep your own counsel. Again, you're, you're going to make the best decision. Stay peaceful. This person really does have the potential to be a wonderful person in your life, but they have old wounds and old toxicities that you're going to need to work through. You have clarity on that also. Indecision. So right now you don't need to make a decision. The indecision card is indicating the Two of Swords. For right now, you're not going to make a decision, okay? It's okay. More information is needed. Whoops. Okay. We have the Sun card. Ah, oh, Libra. 
this person leo energy again blossoming abundance you know if this person will let their guard down and they are look at that you're going to have an abundant relationship with them so what i'm seeing here is fire sign months the month of april should bring some benefit that's also the seventh house of your marriage chart on a solar chart in astrology you're just going to hold off and not do anything and you know what that is the wisest thing that you can do what we're seeing here again there's a cornucopia you see this and you're using a strategy <laughs> libra it's been a joy reading for you sending you love from chicago send some back and tell me where you're from take care bye-bye